this up for him. A third man and four runs. It's extraordinary the number of runs scored down in that area these days. And that's good luck for Sarpraz. Tabre, I think started to try and push the ball away then changed his mind because he would have been hitting the stumps and in the end the ball knocked off the bail anyway first blood to Pakistan and to Sarpraz well a little unlucky here but the bowler digs it in Tavare plays it not quite easily but certainly in the middle of his bat turns round and too late to be able to do anything about it a little bit unfortunate for Tavare there 18 runs in test matches for Alan Lamb so far, which is uh, just over 36. Very useful delivery. Well, this took him certainly by surprise. He dug that in and really got it high up. The perfect bouncer, really. It's a nicer pace. Although someone the other day wrote about Sarfraz as being the same pace bracket as Imran Khan, it's not quite true. is their big chance with this first new ball the opportunity to break through the England batting and Sarfraz has two wickets Randall bowled Sarfraz for 29 and Sarfraz has been causing all sorts of problems in the last two or three overs that in fact was fairly well pitched up He's gone, I think, yes, caught behind, hold it up. Lamb's gone, Haroon Rashid, it, uh, tight short like there, taking a very good catch off the bowling of Tahir Nakash. So, 89 for three, the England score with Alan Lamb falling on 33. Well, a good wicket for Pakistan, Tahir Nakash putting every effort into this ball and getting a little inside edge onto his pad just above his knee and it knocks it up to Haroon at forward short right <laughs> and both into away and that's how I follow through him but very confident the strut in this field and Kadir will bring him two runs Safra's so no to both of them for a change. That's a good shot. The leg stump clipped away quite nicely. Just hasn't got the legs to uh, reach the ropes, but there's three runs in it for him both. Yeah, but safe. Away from the man at deep back at square. 
for more about them. And he looks as though he's just about to unleash an attack. And three, eight to Gower, and 13 to Botham. Botham has gone past Gower, although he's only been there for a short time. say about that motion Khan is having the match of all time here he's come in there and taken a super catch both of them hit it beautifully against the spin and both of them will be kicking himself but motion Khan has just added to that marvelous batting performance he put on has taken his first wicket. Mansur Akhtar takes the catch. Gower has gone for 29. Having survived time after time outside the off stump to Imran Khan. And finally the Pakistan captain claims a well-deserved wicket. Well, Imran lets him have a short one here. Instinct again, he gets ready to pull it. But the movement down the hill catches him on his bat much earlier than he expected and all he could do was knock it up in the air and give an easy catch to mid-wicket beautiful shot by Gary good timing perfect placement really good shot go he'll be out now he's out caught little nick under the pads cardio gets rid of uh, Derek Pringle little edge under the pad and uh, Harold Bird no hesitation there in upholding that appeal so Pringle who never really looked happy against the spinner he's gone for five and England are 187 for six well the danger of playing forward with your bat and pad close together he just gets a little nick from the googly onto his pad and up it pops to forward short leg. So 187 for six. Getting still there on nine. Being joined by Ian Gray. That's desperately needed now by these all rounders. But that uh, will be a great relief to the Sussex all rounder. He's off the mark with two runs. And his LBW. Yes, Ian Gregg in a terrible tangle there. Some marvellous uh, spin bowling coming from Kadir. So Gregg goes for three. And uh, real trouble now for England. from the nursery end he has pitched about leg stump dodged through Greg not reaching in front of his bat to try to get the ball clear find it hitting his back foot yes as good a shot as we've seen played off the leg spinner by Mike Gutting So the 200 comes up. 202 now for seven. Gatting moving on to 18, and he's played jolly well. That's a good firm shot. 
a fool with the bat. Eddie Hamming's improving it there, getting nice into position and uh, tucking it away for four runs on the offside. And that's 217 for eight. Two wickets to go and still 12 needed to avoid the follow-on. And Eddie Hemmings playing round this. Getting through the gate. Up the hill again. The bold, well bold. A very, very good flipper or top spinner, whatever he calls it. That really did zip off, and uh, he beat Taylor quite conclusively. Taylor out for five, Gatting is 31, and Robin Jackman will make the long walk down in just a moment. And this one of the plummest LBWs I've seen for a long time. He couldn't hit anything but the middle of the stump with that one. And he's out this time, the finger's gone up, the uh, appeal has been answered in England's favour, and uh, Pakistan, if they wish now, of course, can make England follow on. Uh, desolate, disappointed Jackman there, looking at his bat, not uh, terribly happy. He feels he's uh, let the side down. Just uh, two runs needed to make sure that Pakistan bat again. Very similar sort of delivery, slanting in. And swinging quite sharply.